there's somebody that I can rely on if I have, you know, some questions. I really uh, got a lot of insight when you said, if you're having trouble, if I'm having trouble understanding uh, a question because of the complicated wording, to break it down, make an acronym out of it. How would I explain it to my seven-year-old if I had to? Just like that. That really helped me. I'm really glad that I stumbled upon your course and I was just surfing um, Google and I don't, I can't even remember like how I came across your blog, but it was really helpful and I'm really lucky that I did. I just needed someone with, you know, expertise and experience to tell me where to go, what direction to take at this point with four weeks out. Um, I could have easily spent a lot of my time, you know, um, doing the wrong things for four weeks out. But now that I have some direction in terms of take a practice test and do the review process, that was what I needed. Really learning that I can slow down and I don't have to stress out so much about it. I think here having someone who understands it, I don't really, I have one friend who's in law school right now, but outside of that, I don't really have a lot of people to talk to who know they can, they try to understand, but they can't really relate. So having someone tell me that I, I can slow down and um, take my time with it, um, it's nice to have that reassurance. <laughs> I think I have to do a better job at being active, like you said, and whether it's creating these caricatures in your head or whether it's just doing what you can to make uh, the, the questions and the, the passage, the content itself more interesting. Um, I think I'm definitely going to work on that when I do practice tests in the future. Talking to you and listening to your podcast that I do, it makes me more familiar with the language and everything. So yeah, just, just getting more, I just get more comfortable. You could actually get into the 170s if you put if you put in the work. Um, I think is is really what it has me motivated, and it it's making it. I'm not doubting myself. Reassuring that what I'm doing is the is the right way. Like I feel like okay, I'm not so lost. The course schedule um, that it's okay to uh, to build in some time for um, for life. I really liked how you mentioned the importance of simulating test day, um, even down to the details of the Ziploc bag and the snack that you eat and that sort of thing. It, and that's something that I hadn't done, and I think that's something I'll do on my next practice test. That was very actionable and helpful. Just some clarity that what I'm doing is okay and that I need to drill um, some of these things more. It's almost like I knew some of these things, but... I hadn't heard it from an expert just to like reassure myself. Definitely in my review process, adding the teaching to another uh, a friend or family member that will help me uh, really show me if I understand the question. Instead of rushing to do more exams, I need to really focus on what I got wrong and why. The key thing that stood out that you said is patterns, that there are patterns. And if I don't understand the pattern, it's gonna be the same result of getting it wrong on the next test. I think just the reassurance that with retaking the LSAT that, you know, I can I can do it and it's not that scary and it's not a big deal if I have to take a gap year. Learning that I can still survive and like actually get this, like actually um, tackle this with a structured schedule and still have a life. I was just gonna say, you taking a time out and breaking down everything for me going over just different techniques to know that you think i can do that myself and i i don't really have that strong belief in myself but you know thank you very much that's that really helped and i was timing everything so i wasn't really uh taking my time to learn the way to go about um how to solve different problems and i think that's the biggest thing i'm going to take from you that my full potential could be uh, realized if I just practice more on time tests and not just learning the material. Now I have a better understanding how to work on the exam completely. Talking to you and being able to ask specific questions is, I think, the greatest uh, help and resource for me. It kind of reminds me that like, I can do this. You've given me advice and I feel like you really took the time to understand what I was trying to say and give me the advice that's really for me, you know, like very personalized and very very, I, I loved it. <laughs> Thank you so much. I was confused. You really turned that confusion into like some sort of concise direction that or a path that I got to follow. And, you know, these, you gave me different alternatives to think that were not on my mind. And now I have these and I'm definitely going to try them. So you basically showed me the way. I was confused. I was lost. And you showed me the way. That's um, what else can I take from that? What's the one insight 
that could make the difference for you on your LSAT journey. Contact me to find out. Thanks for tuning into the show. Please subscribe if you haven't done so already to be notified of new episodes as I release them. And feel free to reach out if you need anything at all as you move forward with your prep. I'm happy to help however I can. In the meantime, I wish you all the best and take care.